Welcome back to Across Louisiana. You know, one of the sounds of Louisiana is the sound of gospel music. And there's an exciting new development coming up. What happens when you take gospel music and mix it with an orchestra? Here to tell us about that is Everett Parker, the director of music for Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church. Welcome to the show. Hello, how you doing, Nils? Such an exciting development. I think this is a great idea. Uh, tell the folks a little bit about it. Well, it, it was an idea that um, Maestro Muffet had uh, 15 years ago when his arrival to take the helm of the orchestra. And, uh, and he, it was always about timing. You know, he felt that the, the, the um, local community was rich in traditions. And one of the ways in which to really bring out community and bring people together through music was in the blending of those traditions and the interaction of those traditions. And so we talked about it and uh, he never let loose of the idea and finally it has come to reality. And a great intro to the orchestra's 65th year as an organization in this community. Uh, you know, that, that's something that so many people here enjoy. I know we were talking before the segment about, you know, going to see the gospel bands at Jazz Fest and how great those are. And they're going to be bringing that kind of, it, that kind of entertainment here um, with, with that fantastic orchestra that Conductor Muffet runs. I mean, tell me a little bit about how, the, how that's going to go. If I go there, what can I expect to find? Well, what you can expect to find is a traditional massed choir uh, of at least 200 voices. You could expect to find, of course, the world-class symphony orchestra in rare form. You could expect those, uh, those instruments that are uh, quintessential to um, gospel music, which would be the Hammond organ, soloist, dynamic soloist. You could expect a variety of the, of the gospel music because it is the, uh, the sub-genres. Uh, you have the contemporary gospel, contemporary Christian gospel, quartet music. You have the spirituals that are going to be, and it's going to all be woven together, particularly with this wonderful narration by our Lieutenant Governor uh, Darden. Baton Rouge is, is a particularly good place for this because we have such a rich tradition in gospel music, don't we? Yes, we really do. And uh, it's just like the foods, you know, <laughs> so much diversity in the foods, the culture, the culinary arts, and so it is with music. And, and you know, gospel music is, is, is a universal almost in, in itself. Uh, it's very popular, not just here in Louisiana, even though it uh, has a reasonable amount of birthplace here in Louisiana, it's popular around the world. And so we hope to really draw persons, not just from the greater Baton Rouge area, but from this region and across this state. This sounds like so exciting, and I, and I know that a lot of people are going to want to check it out. Where do they need to go to find out more information or if they want to take part in it? Well, they can go to the uh, Baton Rouge Symphony Orchestra's website, um, which um, is online, and they can also call the symphony office, and they'll be more than happy to give them all the information that they need. Now, now there are choirs, and then there are choirs. I mean, how many members are we talking here? We are talking about a real gospel mass choir. It's going to be authentic. It's going to be everything that, that people have associated with gospel music. And the great thing about it is that, you know, these choir, the choirs are made up of different congregations, of persons from uh, the LSU Gospel Choir, the Southern University Gospel Choir, uh, different traditions here in our city, but they're all coming together in a unified ensemble. And it's always great when we can bring our community together, especially over something like that. We look forward to the event. It sounds like a great time. Thanks for coming on and tell us all about it. Thank you very much.